One bad apple spoils the bunch Boris doing justice exposed corrupted MP Jeffrey Cox. Boris Johnson appeared to slap down MP Sir Jeffrey Cox for taking a second job in the British Virgin Islands as he demanded MPs put their job in Parliament first. The most recent register of financial interests showed that Sir Geoffrey will earn more than £800,000 or working for an international law firm appointed by the British Virgin Islands BVI, government in January. He will work up to 41 hours a month for the money. Added to other outside work, he has earned more than £1 million on top of his MP salary over the past 12 months. Sir Jeffrey's posting to the BVI came after temporary House of Commons rules allowed MPs to vote while away from the chamber. The Dorridge and West Devon MP used the rules which allowed parliamentarians to still vote and take part in debates from home to make the 4,000-mile journey abroad. Taking aim at Sir Jeffrey today, a spokesman for the Prime Minister said it was important MPs were visible to their constituents. Sir Geoffrey, best known for being Attorney General under Mr Johnson during the Brexit rose in Parliament, has not commented on his earnings outside Parliament. Questions over M.P.'s financial interests reared their head after the Tories last week launched a desperate attempt to change Commons rules on disciplining those MPs found to have broken parliamentary standards. The Standards Committee had recommended Mr Patterson should be suspended from Parliament for 30 days after committing an egregious breach of a ban on paid lobbying by MPs. The former minister was employed by the healthcare company Randox and pushed for it to be given lucrative government contracts. Reforms backed by the government last week would have allowed Mr Patterson to appeal the Standards Committee's recommendations for a Parliament suspension but were ultimately abandoned in the face of public outrage. Labour is now demanding an investigation into Sir Geoffrey's conduct in the face of the extra scrutiny on second jobs. Chairwoman Annalise Stodd said in a letter to the Prime Minister, the people of Torridge and West Devon must be wondering if Geoffrey Cox is a Caribbean-based barrister or a Conservative MP. The Conservative MP argued that British overseas territories had been given responsibility for the governance of their financial and economic affairs and that the UK should not interfere. The revelations raised questions as in 2018 Sir Geoffrey did hundreds of hours of legal work for unknown clients, including through firms based in the Cayman Islands itself. His current work for the BVI government through the firm with as LLP started later, in 2020, according to the Commons Register of Register of Interests. But his in the Register of Interests from the time says he received £40,000 for 60 hours of work between September 2017 and February 2018 from Messrs Travers, Thorpe, Alberga, attorneys, based on Grand Cayman Island. Additionally, he was paid £3,135 by Brady's attorneys at law, also registered on Grand Cayman for 25 hours of work between January 2016 and July 2017. Sir Geoffrey, who on Tuesday night was accused of breaking Commons rules by using his office in the course of a second job, commented for the first time on the issue on Wednesday. A statement issued on his behalf defended the second job and said it had not been to defend a tax haven or, as has been inaccurately reported, to defend any wrongdoing but to assist the public inquiry in getting to the truth. The statement added, no evidence of tax evasion or personal corruption has been adduced before the inquiry and if it had been, that person would have been required to seek their own representation. But Labour Deputy Leader Angela Rayner said, you can be an MP serving your constituents or a barrister working for a tax haven, you can't be both and Boris Johnson needs to make his mind up as to which one Geoffrey Cox will be. A Conservative MP trying to prevent a crackdown on tax avoidance in tax havens at the same time as taking money from companies linked to tax avoidance in tax havens is a glaring conflict of interest and an insult to British taxpayers. Labour would crack down on tax havens so our schools and hospitals get every penny they need. This Conservative government has failed to crack down on tax avoidance and these glaring conflicts of interest suggest many in the Conservative Party are very happy with that. Many in the Conservative